In this tutorial, we learn about the categories of computer and computer languages. So first we'll talk about the various types of computer. The first type of computer is microcomputer. Second category is mini computer. Third category is mainframe computers. And fourth category is supercomputer. Now let's learn, try to understand these computers in detail. So we have different types of computers we can see. It can be a desktop, it can be a laptop, palm top, smartphone, etc. So studying in detail. First category of computer is desktop computer. Desktop computers are designed to fit comfortably on top of desk. Desktop computers typically come with several units such as C CPU, monitor, keyboard, mouse, etc. And the next type of mini computer is laptop computer. These computers are small in size and can be placed on a lap. They are battery operated and portable. These computers are mainly used by people who travel a lot. Uh, we can fold the screen of a laptop onto the keyboard and not in use. Laptops usually have 13 to 15 inch screen. Next we have tablet computers. These computers are smaller and lighter than laptops but bigger than smartphones. Instead of keyboard and mouse, tablets use touch sensitive screen for typing and navigation. Tablets have 7 inch, 8 inch or 10 inch screen. They are mainly used for reading ebooks, watching movies, viewing photos, browsing net, etc. The next type of computer is palm top computer. Palm top computer is a small device that can fit in palm of your hand. The device has similar feature as that of this computer. It has a small screen and compressed keyboard. Next we have handheld devices. Devices that are small in size and can be easily held in the hand and called handheld devices. They are also called as PDAs. The handheld computers are also called as personal digital assistants or PDAs. These devices either have a touch enabled display screen as the input in, uh, interface or a simple display unit with a keyboard. Next we have smartphone which you are already familiar. Smartphone is a handheld device that combines features of a personal computer with other common features of a mobile phone. Next we have game console. Game console is a device used to play interactive video games. This device is equipped with display screen, game controls, buttons, joysticks, etc. Next we have embedded systems. Embedded system is one that has computer hardware with software embedded or implanted on a larger device. It comprises of essential component components like CPU, RAM, ROM, etc. but does not have hard disk, keyboard or screen. For example, TV sets vehicles, telephones, digital cameras, these are the examples of embedded systems. Next we have mainframe computers. Mainframe computers are bigger in size, they are very powerful, they are designed to tackle huge amount of data, more than 100 users can use a framework, they can work simultaneously and they are very expensive. Examples we have IBM Z series, PDP-10, System Z10, etc. Next category is supercomputers. These are the most powerful computers with a huge processing speed. These computers are used for weather forecasting, space research, satellite control, etc. Examples we can have Cray 1, Cray 2, Param, Pine, etc. In the next module, we'll learn about computer languages. Computer language is a language that a computer understands. For example, a computer has to be given instructions to get some work done. So a computer program is a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do. And the process of writing instructions in a computer language is called programming. Now we can see the categories of computer. Computer languages can be categorized into two categories, high level language and low level language. High level language, we can have C, C++, Java, etc. Four generation language. If you talk about low-level language, it can be further categorized into two categories that is machine-level language and assembly-level language. Now let's talk about machine-level language and assembly-level language. Machine-level language is a language that is that a computer understands and it is expressed in binary form that is in the form of zeros and ones. That means zero means off state and one means on state. And the other category is
this first category we have discussed it is machine level language machine level language is a language that a computer understands it is expressed in binary form that is zeros and ones zeros means off state one means on state and assembly level language is a language which uses mnemonic codes or symbols in the place of zeros and ones they use certain codes like uh, add move copy uh, different commands are used and these languages directly communicate with the hardware of a computer next we'll talk about high level language high level language high level language are the third generation language and they are used for programming and four generation language that is four generation language examples structured query language sql etc now we'll talk about language processor language processor is a software or a translator which converts a high level language to a low level language it can be an interpreter it can be a compiler it can be an assembler so let us understand the basic difference between an interpreter and compiler an interpreter is a translator which translates the entire program into machine level language line by line but a compiler translates the program converts the high level language to a machine level language but if the execution of a compiler is done at once that means it compiles the whole program at once so this is the basic difference between a compiler and interpreter let us take an example like we have a java program the compiler runs this java program and converts it to into a machine level language that is the program is converted into zeros and ones so this is how a compiler works